Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be talking about the subgroup of the group Zn, which is integers modulo n, right? So we already have studied about this fundamental theorem of cyclic groups. Remember, this theorem here tells us that every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic. Moreover, if the order of the group which is generated by A is n, then the order of any subgroup of the group generated by A is a divisor of n. And for each positive divisor k of n, the group generated by A has exactly one subgroup having order k, namely this subgroup, right? So now in, if instead of the given group, for any arbitrary group, if we define our group to be the group of integers modulo n, right, Zn, and we take a is equal to 1 as the generator, then we have the following result. The result here tells us that for each positive div divisor k of n, the set, now because we have took 1 to uh, a to be 1, right? So we have the set n divided by k as the unique subgroup of this group Zn, which has order k, right? So this is similar to this one. Uh, we had earlier this subgroup as the group uh, for, for the given group where it has order k, sim where k is what? It, is, it was divisor of the order n, right? In this case, we have the set n by k as the unique subgroup and this forms the order of Zn, right? And this is a divisor of n. So these, this is the result over here. So let's see this through an example. Suppose we have the group Z30. For Z30, we wanted to write down the list of all the subgroups. So all the subgroups, they are obtained here. N is 30. So we have 30 by K, right? So we, we have to see which all K would divide 30. So you would have the value of K as 1. Then you have 2. Then you have 3. Then you have 5. Then you have 6. Right? Then thereafter you would have 10, then 15 and then 30. So all these numbers they divide 30, right? And no other number divide 30. So you see you have k as this. So uh, these are the subgroups which are obtained. When, when you substitute k, it would uh, k is equal to 1, it would have order 1. When you substitute k is equal to 2, the subgroup would have order 2. And so we, we can move on like this. For example, if we substitute k is equal to 30. In that case, we would have a subgroup which is 30 divided by 30. So basically it is equal to 1 and it would have order 30, right? And what are, what are the elements of this subgroup? It would have all the uh, elements which are uh, constructed by this generator 1 here. So they are 0. So basically what we are saying, we are writing 1, then we are writing 1 plus 1, then we are writing 1 plus 1 plus 1 then we are writing 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so on up to 1 plus 1 plus 1 how many times 30 times and when, when it is 30 times it becomes equal to 0 so that is why this first entry is appearing over here similarly we can do it for uh, the next element by taking k as equal to 15 so when we take k as equal to 15 in that case our subgroup would be 30 divided by 15 and which is equal to the subgroup which is generated by 2 so it has order 15 and all the elements would be of this form 2 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 plus 2 uh, that means 6 and so on we keep on doing it at last we would do it 2 plus 2 plus 2 how many times if we do it 15 times right we would obtain 30 so this 30 is equivalent to 0 when you do it mod 30, right? So that is how you obtain this last element over here. So in total, we have 15 elements here. So therefore, the order here is 15. In a similar manner, you can have a subgroup 3. So you can take k as equal to 10. The order is 10. And the subgroup you obtain is 30 divided by 10, which is 3. So you, in this case, you are going to add up 3. So 3, then 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 plus 3 and so on we keep on doing like this we have in total 10 elements and the last element would be adding 3 how many times 10 times and if you add, do it 10 times then you will obtain 30 as the answer and when you perform 30 mod 30 it is going to be 0 so the 0 is this first element 
in a similar manner we would have a, a subgroup of order 6 where it is generated by the element 5 and the elements all the elements are listed over here similarly we would have for order 5 the subgroup generated by 6 it has 5 elements within it then for order 3 we have the subgroup generated by 10 it has 3 elements within it for order 2 we have uh, a subgroup which is generated by 15 why because when you divide 30 by 2 it is going to be 15 and it has two elements so that is why order is 2 and the last one is when you divide 30 by 1 it is going to be the subgroup which is generated by 30 only it only contain one element that is the identity element that is 0 element so its order is 1 so you saw how we can very easily compute the order in this uh, order of all the subgroups and what are what all subgroups would be there what all generate would be there for it using this result so in this case this is a particular case of this fundamental theorem of cyclic group because uh, you know z30 that is a finite cyclic group so all the subgroup of this group they are cyclic in nature and moreover uh, moreover the generators are calculated according uh, the subgroups are uh, calculated according to this way where the generator is n by k and it would have k as its order where what is k k is the divisor of n right and is this index correct